Hey everyone, welcome back to Talking Hidden Treasures with Patrick Hakeem. And today I've got Todd from First Majestic. Now, Todd and I have a very special history because I actually got my silver bug with Todd and solidified my broship with him that night. And I have to say, Todd, when you guys have press releases like this, I get super excited because I get to see one of my bros winning. And I just would love to have you on and tell us a little bit about what you're seeing. Tell me about this press release. Well, Patrick, it's great to see you again and uh, to be on the show. And I look forward to the conversation. Um, yeah, the press release you're referring to was the one we, we announced just yesterday. It's our Q1 production numbers uh, we put out. We saw some improvements from our Mexican operations, um, higher grades, higher throughputs, higher production, which will ultimately re result in lower costs going forward as well. But, um, you know, we had a, a good Q1. We expect Q2 is going to be um, you know, better. And then going into the rest of the year in the second half, we should be even better as we get into some higher grade areas of, of the mines. Yeah. And I know, like I said, the silver symposium, we're all going to be there in October, but for me, let's look forward. What do you guys expect to see in the next three to four months here? Well, you know, I guess it all comes down to the macro uh, uh, talk from the Fed and you can discuss whether or not we think rates are going to go back or you know, I think we've we've hit the peak of of inflation. You know, I, just from an operational standpoint, we are seeing costs start to 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 come down. There are some supply demand, or you know, uh, or supply is is improving. So we are seeing that affect prices. Yeah, a six percent increase is not a small number. I mean, that's a that's a really odd, like that's a favorable number to see. I love seeing those numbers because we need those resources and we're in short supply. Yeah, totally. You know, silver, silver is something that I think people don't realize of how tight the market is. You know, last year we produced uh, about 820 million ounces of silver as an industry. Yet the for the demand for silver was one point over 1.2 billion. So there's over 400 million ounces of silver that was that was consumed in industry that just came out of you know you know third party you know, hordes. You know, you know who, who knows where it actually comes from. But uh, and that demand is going to be growing pretty aggressively. The, the forecast for, for next year is 1.4 billion. Uh, and most of that growth is coming from solar panels uh, and, and electric vehicles. Those are the top two growth. Um, last year, there was about 120 million ounces that went into solar panels. They're projecting for 2023, that's going to be 170 million. And then in 2024, they're projecting 190 million. So there's, there's a right there, there's 70 million ounces of silver. That, that they're projecting is going to be required the next year. And who knows where that's going to come from? You know, yeah, the, correct. The, the, the mines aren't producing more silver, even though I know our production was up. But, you know, that's just a drop in the bucket to the, to the overall uh, global, global demand and supply of, of the metal. So, you know, we need higher prices, much, much higher prices if we're going to, if we're going to fill the requirements uh, of, of, of going, getting off oil and gas and, and and driving more electric vehicles and, and using more solar. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, there is this idea that as silver approaches and goes above $25, you'll start seeing a lot more activity. And we've seen this throughout the space because it becomes more profitable to be able to go down and the costs of actually acquiring and getting the material out of the ground become more favorable. So at this point, we are looking forward to hearing what you guys are saying. And 6%, man, that's, that's some numbers on the scoreboard. So I'm really looking forward to keeping ahead and uh, seeing you guys hopefully very soon here in June, maybe even at the deal flow summit yeah you know look it's it's nice to have you know silver now being the majority of our revenue um we did dip low, below last year we had a, a new mine come on called our matano which increased our gold period our gold revenue uh we had a we acquired a mine in 2021 that increased our gold revenue but this year we're back to becoming a silver producer which is great you know over 50 percent of our revenue will be coming from silver so we mm. are one of the go-to names uh if, if you're looking for silver exposure um, you know, we're, we don't hedge silver. Um, some of our peers like uh, have hedged some some of their production, um, but you definitely get the upside. You know, for for every one percent silver moves, typically First Majestic would would go up three percent. So wow. you have three to one leverage to. So if you think silver is going to go north of 30, 40 bucks, you know the stock will do tremendously well. Um, and I think we're starting to see it. You know, silver has lagged gold this year. Gold's up about 10% year to date. Silver's only up about eight or 9%. Uh, 
And, and, and that's pretty common, right? That's common for silver to lag. But then after about six to nine months, we've seen history shows that silver then decides to turn on the rockets and explodes and it'll, it'll overpass gold. It'll just go to the moon. And it feels like we're kind of getting to that level. I think there's definitely a, um, there's been some pretty interesting price action in, in the price of the metal over the last few weeks. If you look at the futures contracts, you know, the, 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 the call options for June of 2030 or, or 2023 are trading about a 6% premium. And that's typically, it's about a 1% premium. So there's definitely something interesting going on behind the scenes. And I think we're going to see much higher metal prices over the next six months. Oh, absolutely. This is totally the time to be in. This is why I love what I get to do right now, because I just am here cheering you guys on. Your wins are our wins. So, Todd, thanks so much for taking time to talk with me today and give us a quick update about First Majestic. And congratulations on the big find. Like, that's a huge win. Good job. Well, thanks, Patrick. Great to see you again. And uh, we'll look forward to the show in uh, quarter line. 